Okay, so I've been reading uh, a fairly big story on the internet in Field of WWE, and apparently, on December 14th, Bret the Hitman Hart re-signed with the WWE to potentially take on the role of a long-term GM on Raw. With the potential, depending on you, if he can physically do it, and if they can make it work, Bret Hart might take on Vince McMahon at WrestleMania next year. Now, this is still kind of in the speculation stage. You know, there's there are lots of reports and from fairly credible sources that Brett has signed with the E. Now, we're not going to see him on TV probably... until January 4th. When Monday Night Wars 2, I guess, begins in the mind of Hulk Hogan. Because that's when TNA will have Hulk Hogan return during a, I want to say, three-hour live TNA event. So the start of Monday Night Wars 2, TNA picked up Hulk Hogan, and Vince, Vince decided to re-sign Bret the Hitman Hart. Of course, still in the speculation stages. I, for one thing, it actually be fairly interesting to see, you know, Bret as a GM on Raw. Preached that first night when he's talking with Sean, when he's talking with Vince. So when DH has a promo, Bret Hart comes out, and maybe he forces DX to defend against the Hart Dynasty. Maybe he'll bring the Hart Dynasty over to Raw. So Interesting times. I was really excited. I'm looking forward to it, if it is true. Again, it's still in the the half-confirmed speculation area. But anyways, Brit the Hitman Hart has a pretty good chance of coming back to WWE and potentially taking on Vince, if he's physically able to, at next year's WrestleMania. Uh, 